Hey everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, I'm going to share with you a simple tool that you can use to improve your lunge, um, your technique, and your alignment when you perform lunges after knee replacement surgery. Before I jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you don't already, and turn on the notifications so you can catch all videos related to knee replacement surgery. So, with a lunge, I always like to recommend people start with a stationary lunge or a lunge in place. A lot of times people will start by doing walking lunges where they're moving their bodies and they tend to lose um, the good technique that comes with it. So first let's just talk about the lunge position. So we want to be with our feet staggered, um, one foot a little bit ahead of the other foot. People always ask me, should I put my surgical leg in front? Should I put it behind? I say, you should be doing both sides. You should be working on both legs forward. Um, there's different challenges in terms of strength requirements, in terms of range of motion requirements on both sides with this movement. So I strongly encourage doing it with both legs forward, both positions. So common thing with lunges is people, when they come down, they tend to kind of lean or slouch their body forward and lose that position. You want to keep your body up as straight as you can and it's really like you're bringing that back knee straight down toward the floor and then coming back up. If you need, hold on to something for support. I have the chair here. And of course, as always with all of our exercises, you don't have to go through the full range of motion right away. If you feel comfortable with a quarter lunge or a half lunge, that's still great and still has good benefits. Now, a common issue with lunges is going to be the alignment of the knee. And I'm talking about particularly in the front knee. So what can happen is as you go down into that lunge, is there's this medialization or this caving in of the knee like this. Now I'm really exaggerating it here, but you know, if you do a, a lunge in the mirror or if you see someone else doing a lunge in therapy, take a look at their knee and see if it keeps a good alignment over that foot or if it tends to cave in like this. So what we can do is a simple cue to help that um, issue. So what I have is a TheraBand, or any type of band will do, and it's tied to a table or whatever you want to tie it to laterally or on the opposite side of the leg you have forward. So you're going to put a loop in it, and you're going to put that around your leg. And I put it kind of right at the knee joint. If that's a little uncomfortable at the crease, um, you can go a little below, a little above, is perfectly fine. Now, you're probably looking at this and saying, well, that's just going to pull my knee more in, right? The band is pulling that direction to the left, and it's going to make my knee cave in even more. But actually, what we're trying to do is we want to actually use that as a cue, and we want to push into that band. So instead of letting that band pull your knee in, you want to actively try to push in the opposite direction and keep the leg out. So that resistance is actually providing a cue to activate those hip muscles and keep the knee in good alignment as you go down. So as you go down, you can hold on, or if your hands on your hips, coming straight down. And now as you're going up and down, you can feel that band and you feel that cue to keep that knee out to the side, or in good alignment, I mean, and not let it cave in like this. Sometimes we might overcorrect, and the knee might come out a little bit like that. Um, that's not ideal. We want to really keep it aligned with the foot. But I would rather have the knee come out a little bit like this, rather than it have it cave in significantly this way. Um, there's a lot of different issues and a lot of different functional um, changes that can happen with that medialization. So we really want to promote keeping that knee out, keeping those hips activated, as you go up and down in the lunge movement. So I encourage you to give it a try yourself at home or in therapy. Try this simple exercise, this simple cue to improve your lunge and your alignment with the lunge after knee replacement surgery. Let me know how it goes. Please be sure to leave your comments and questions below. I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.